Hello, this is just a quick little video talking about uh, something that I designed uh, for a 3D print file uh, to kind of solve a problem that I found I had when I was putting together these two. Uh, these two are displays for the display display, of course. They're just quick little doddles just to show the functions of these two specific Nixie tubes. We've got the Zin 80, which I did a video of before when it turned up. Unfortunately, there was another one. You can see there's a socket there. However, that didn't fare so well, which is pretty unfortunate. So trying to figure out something to fix in there and then this one over here which is a Burroughs 7971 which is an alphanumerical display uh, it's got 15 segments in it it's really interesting you'll see it's go just counting up basically it's just counting up the segments at the minute I quite like it when the displays in the display display don't show what they're actually supposed to show I feel it kind of removes it from its intended function and then it means you focus more on what it actually is instead of what it's trying to show you I don't know that might sound completely silly but it's just an idea so this one is really interested but I had to print something which is right here to solve a bit of a problem because I couldn't find enough of these sockets, the sockets that actually these big mama Nixie tubes fit in. So these are really amazing little Nixie tubes. Nowadays these ones uh, are actually quite hard to get hold of. If you look on eBay and stuff like that you'll know why. Uh, they're, they're, they're just, uh, the supply is dwindling apparently, uh, you know, back in the day you can pick them up for a dollar here and there obviously, but as the decades have trotted on by uh, there's been less and less on the market, they've all just been running out. No Nobody's making new ones of these, so yeah, they're just they're just getting rarer and rarer. To the point, frustratingly, the one that I've got, you'll see that one of the segments, this cross one right here, I'm gonna see if I can line it up right there, doesn't light up. And um, I've been sitting figuring out whether it's the circuit or whether I'm being an idiot, and I have denounced, denounced or whatever it is, uh, that it is actually the tube. For some reason, that, that segment just doesn't want to light up. I, in fact, I haven't had much luck with these ones because I got one uh, previously and it actually turned up cracked, which was really unfortunate. The seller was kind enough to uh, uh, do a refund. It was very well packaged, but it was still managed to be broken. They're still very big and very fragile. It got shipped from America. This one, I think I found afterwards on a bid for a reasonable, for quite cheap actually. And that's why I, had, I got another one. But as you can see, the line doesn't work. And yet, so yeah, unfortunately, it seems to be how it goes with these big ones. They're not getting any younger. So with this one right here, there are a couple of off the shelf sockets. These are pretty hard to find, but as you can see, they're both here. They're SK137s. That is the uh, designation number for the socket. And yeah, when I went to build this one, I just couldn't find any more. There was just none on the internet whatsoever that I could find. And the ping pong thing's going crazy over there. So that's when I had to put this together. This is just uh, basically a 3D printed socket for it. I wasn't sure how this was going to turn out because you know it somewhat needs to be a little bit accurate here there and everywhere and you need to put metal pins into it, the uh, Nixie tube uh, socket pins into this to make it work. But actually as you can see here it works quite well. I'm not going to remove this and put this back in because you, the times when you keep on removing and putting back in Nixie tubes, you have a have a risk of uh, damaging the seal in the glass uh, where the pins come through the glass. But this means if you order some tube socket pins and then you 3D print this and then glue them into it, it actually makes quite a good seal. This works out really well. I'm really pleased. You can also buy PCB versions of these sockets. However, I quite like the idea of them being quite nice and bulky and sitting on top of a enclosures. I really like enclosures when it comes to Nixie tube designs and stuff. Uh, the idea with these ones is the descriptions go on the side of the boxes to talk about this one. A little bit of a note on the front to say this is the Burroughs 797 one, but it's an absolutely beautiful um, Nixie tube, um, uh, except for the fact that one of the uh, one of the segments isn't working, but what are you going to do? But yeah, if you find yourself trying to find one of these damn things, well, a uh, link to the 3D print file for this is below. Actually turns out pretty well. I'm quite pleased with that. Anyway, I'm going to leave you with just a slow-mo shot of these playing out and the display display which is slowly getting built up and built up.